<clears throat> Winning feels good, done it. Big up everybody. Big up everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. It is good to be back. It is good for the Chelsea to be back. Let's go, people. All the scaremongering, all the crying, all the moaning that I saw in the chat throughout the first half, which to some level was deserved, but to another level, it was just like people were waiting, were waiting for Chelsea to look a little bit bad so they could run all their scaremongering. Where are you all at now? Where are you all at now? Because we actually made the right substitutions in this game. We actually changed the tactics a little bit, started playing more towards the left when Jaden Sancho came on. And look, we left with the three points. We left with the three points. Stuff of champions is what we would have been told a few years ago with a performance like that. I've had how many games where we've played like absolute crap and I've been told to just smile and be happy because we've won. You're not allowed to talk about the performance because we won. Cause so guess what? Smile, everybody. Be happy. Be happy. All of that crap. Yo, the amount of BS that I was reading in the first half was genuinely insane. And I get it. We were not good. We were not good at all. But people talking about how oh, we're, we're not even going to be able to sign Sancho because we're going to be we're not going to finish above 14th. People talking about Maresca's going to be sacked at Christmas. Oh, we got rid of Pochettino for this. Yes. Yes, guys. We, we got rid of Pochettino for this because what did we do when we were struggling in the game? We brought on forwards. We brought on forwards. You know what this guy did when we were drawing nil nil at Bournemouth last year? Man brought on fucking Chilwell. Man brought on Chilwell at left wing. There you are. That's your manager. That is your manager. Now, shamelessness aside, we weren't good in the first half. We were a little bit better in the second. We started to progress the ball a little bit better. Sancho obviously helped, which I, I need to say. His cameo. I don't think you could have asked for much more than just a goal on top. The passing, sensational. The decision-making, sensational. All you could ask from him was just one of the two. Be creative or be a goal threat. What was he? He was creative as hell. If that's the Jaden Sancho that we're going to see all season, boy. There can be no more excuses when it comes to finishing because Sancho is going to make chances for you. Palmer is going to make chances for you. Um, well, I don't even know about Enzo. You're going to have Nicholas Jackson as well. You're going to have Neto potentially off the bench, even a Dewsbury Hall and a Jal Felix. Like the attacking options there are just plentiful, massively plentiful. And like my only problem going forward in the first half Bar all the individual performances as well, was just the lack of options progressively. That was my biggest problem. Like, we set up with Cucurella in a 10, and I think we had Vega and Caicedo playing as the deep line midfielders, but Vega didn't know what he was doing in that match. Spent half of the first half just blocking Caicedo and getting in the way of him. Caicedo, by the way, for all the stuff that I was hearing about, oh, you're, you're unfair on Enzo and he's been better than Caicedo this season. The amount of people who are trying to rip Caicedo in my watch along in the first half, like what? Caicedo was fine. He was our best midfielder by an absolute mile again. Again. The, the amount of ground that this guy had to cover and the blocks, the passes, the interceptions, massively well done. His only problem was in the first half. He was prone to passing sideways and backwards a few times, but there weren't any options to progress the ball. That was my problem. The gap between the midfield and the attack was just massive. Absolutely massive. But, but the game management was good in the second half. The substitutions were correct. And this is what I needed from the manager. When we got into half time, I said, give me a goal. I'll run to the hills with it. What did we do? We got a goal. And I also said I wanted to see Maresca's game management. I wanted to see how he impacted the game. What do we see? Sancho immediately comes on at half time, and he has an immediate impact too. His passing from like the first touches he gets to the ball, always the right decisions and always very impressive with his decision making. Uh, we brought the Sassy off for Tosin. And it helped us defensively a little bit more too. 
Tosin still did have one or two worrying moments, but the Sassy had to come off the pitch. And this whole the Sassy at right back experiment, no, no, bin it, bin it. Play one of the academy lads at right back if you have to. I don't want to see the Sassy starting, not at all. End of the experiment, done. Sanchez, that's another one I want to talk about. Um, I haven't even got the chance to speak about him on the Chelsea Fan TV review, but this is the third good game in a row from him. And like, I'm I'm happy. I'm really happy. Like, great penalty save, good passing, good saves in game. Third game in a row. I'm not worried about the goalkeeper. It's now turning into form. It's now turning into form. And just keep it going. Your real turnaround is going to come when we play Arsenal in November. I need redemption for that Declan Rice pass. You're still not out of the woods yet with that one. But I'll acknowledge that your form has been really good and you're justifying being our number one right now. You're justifying it. You just have to continue to justify it. On the attack, Sancho and Nkunku just saved the entire thing. Saved the entire thing. Because first off, we looked like an absolute mess. Noni wasn't good. Jackson wasn't good. Palmer was ineffective. Neto was ineffective. But Neto weren't even getting a lot of touches of the ball either. We only really started playing off the left-hand side um, when Neto came off and we brought Sancho on. Even then with Neto, like, he's always going to be more comfortable on the right-hand side too. So, like, he kind of just has to wait for the right opportunities to come for him in that position anyway. For Chelsea, though, sensational. To all the United fans watching, hold that. You man tried to do a Sancho hate watch and it backfired on your head top. Man one man of the match. On your head. Hold that. He's now above you in the Prem table and he's only played 45 minutes. Hold that. Disgrace. And all in all, what a weekend. We got the Cho Dagger as well. Hold that, Liverpool. Hold that. North London derby pending. I don't know what I want in that game. Obviously, like, I, I will never outright support Tottenham. I'll never speak any words of support for them. But if they get the right result, we do end this match day above Arsenal in the league. And I can't lie, I need that. I need that. You don't understand how much we need that. So, hey, ABA settings. Anyone but Arsenal. Anyone but Arsenal. Their collapse will be televised and we will be here live for it doing the hate watch. So keep a lookout for that, guys. Keep a lookout. For now, though, our weekend sorted. The main event has concluded. Chelsea have won again. Um, our second away win in a row. Our first international break uh, win after the international break since December 2022. Great, great, great second half from us. And drag this to, um, who do we have next? West Ham away. Oh, boy. Oh, West Ham away. Now, here's where a statement can be made. Because we don't like playing there. We despise playing at West Ham. So, Chelsea, you must. You had better. We'll see what happens. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button. Subscribe. If you're a United fan or a Liverpool fan watching, cry more. Yeah, up the Chelsea. Up the Chelsea.